everybody, welcome to the joy of trucking. Here we are this fine morning at the Werner Terminal in Dallas. And Kevin is going to show us how to grease this, uh, what's it called? That's the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're picking up a camper today. All right, so, uh, first let me get an overview of what you're setting up here. He's got tools for the job. Got his gloves and stuff. Okay, hey, tell us about what you're doing. <clears throat> well, as you know, every morning we do a vehicle inspection before we set out to do our work. So you check all the components on the truck to make sure that everything's working properly and the vehicle is safe to operate. One of the main components is the fifth wheel. This big horseshoe looking plate over here is where the tractor connects to the trailer. And as you're pulling the trailer and turning corners, this is pivoting against the trailer friction. There's a lot of weight on this thing. So it needs to be greased and it needs to be cleaned. Last night we drove here and there was some rain as we entered Dallas. And on my inspection this morning, I saw there's rust spots here on the fifth wheel. You see the brown rusty spots? So to my thinking, that's not very good. That's not very well lubricated. So the company gives us these grease packs up, for this very up, specific up. job. It's just a plastic baggie full of grease. Oh, fun. And we spread that on there in such a way that the next time we pick up a trailer, it mushes it all around, spreads it pretty evenly. It is a dirty job, so I'm wearing gloves. Throw away gloves Throw rather away than gloves. I got some nice detergent grease. in case I get messy in a rag, but I'm gonna apply the grease right now. Okay, let's see. Guys, you see the guys from the from the maintenance shops they use they use a grease gun of course but they do all kinds of crazy patterns they'll make flowers or swirls or stripes and do a real fancy job of applying the grease letting out their inner artist yeah it's like a work of art when you see those guys put grease down yours i have a feeling is going to be a little more modern art Right. Be strictly utilitarian for the purpose at hand. I do not want to get involved in a very elaborate operation with this stuff because it's messy. And you don't have a grease gun? No, I don't have the artistic tools to do that kind of job. Now I'm just going to spread this a little bit. So you notice I'm working more on the bottom of the plate. So like I said, as the as the trailer comes on, it's going to push a lot of this up. Ah. If I do it right, if I engage the trailer properly. Well, that's the end of that one. I'll have to dispose of this thing too. There. And you can see there's a lot of old grease like been pushed out to the sides and so on. It's, it's a messy piece of equipment here. It always is because the grease is just laying on there flat and it gets squashed up to the sides and the grease attracts dirt so there's always a large element of dirt in the old grease It's always a chore trying to get all the grease out of these bags. You always think you're leaving so much in there. But I guess the other thing you could do is stick your finger in there and grab a bunch, wipe it all clean. If you don't have these gloves, that's really a messy prospect. All right, I'm very happy with this work of art here. <laughs> And tell us, what does it represent? Ah, this represents the fusion of machine and motion. It brings about the feeling of ethos and smoothly gliding down the road. Yes, yes. oh, I see the symbolism right there. I feel my spiritual energy awakened by the lubrication. 
<laughs> if I wasn't wearing gloves, I would not be spreading this around. I just put a big blob somewhere and let the trailer do the rest. But as I'm throwing these gloves away, I guess I can afford to be thorough. Now I didn't bring a garbage bag. How are we gonna do this? Ready, ready, ready? Yeah. Yay, disposable gloves. Sorry, environment, but uh, hey, everything has a purpose. And look at that. Oh, pretty present. Thanks to my lovely wife. Whoa! Clean hands. Yeah, because I I brought the box. So All right. Gloves. We're done. We're ready okay. to work. Any other uh, things somebody should keep in mind when doing that? No, just uh, be thorough. Spread it around good. Um, if you get the chance, clean it every now and then. Like take a scraper and scrape off all the sand and dirt that's trapped in that grease because you don't want that grinding away at your, at your fifth wheel and your trailer. Uh, and the trailer apron is the part underneath the trailer where the fifth wheel is, is you know the, the kingpin is hanging down it's a good idea to look at that too to make sure that it's clean and dry and it's uh it's all going to be properly lubricated here we go all right well thanks for showing us how to do that and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and you learned something put comments and questions below and please remember to subscribe to the joy of trucking We'll be showing you more things like this and you can come along for a ride off to Iowa today with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.